Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, I'm Adre Ali and in today's video I'm going to talk about how to do your makeup if you're wearing glasses. I chose to do a very, very colorful look. In general, there are two main problems for people who wear glasses. The first problem in makeup is that it rubs off your nose and then the second problem is that the frame might overtake the entire face. So I'm not just going to show you how I've created this look from scratch, but I'm also going to talk about these problems in particular. This video is in partnership with GlassesUSA.com, which means that I'm going to show you a few of my picks from their website, including the pair that I'm wearing right now. <laughs> details about glassesusa.com if you're not familiar with them they're the biggest retailer for glasses out there on their website you can find glasses for kids skis sunnies eyeglasses whatever crosses your mind they have it in terms of glasses and they go with the smallest price because there is no middleman you're going directly to the source the price for the glasses includes free standard delivery and also prescription and speaking about prescription, to buy eyeglasses, you need prescription. You don't have one, you lost it. For whatever reason, you don't have it anymore, there's no problem. Because GlassesUSA.com has a free prescription scanner app. My mind was like, like how, how could this be? But all you need to do is just download the app and use your phone camera to scan your glasses and extract the details for your prescription. It's FDA listed, it's accurate, and it's ready in like 10-15 minutes for free. And then if you're the kind of person that never bought glasses online, they made it easy. They made it easy for all of us because they have this thing that's called virtual mirror. So basically what the virtual mirror is, it's a tool that is helping you to see what every single one of those glasses that you want to try look like on you. It's super easy. Go on the website, pick a pair of glasses that you want to try. You upload a picture of yourself looking straight into the camera, adjust the picture, and then try as many glasses as you can. You get amazing prices that starts from $19 for a pair of glasses. And then if you don't like it, you have 14 days to return it. During this tough time, we're doing social distancing right now. We don't want to meet anybody. We're home. We want to be safe. So buying glasses online is the safest way. The glasses literally come at your door. In case you are wondering, this is what the case looks like. And then in here, you've got this little cloth. Don't use your t-shirt, okay? Please make sure that you check the link in my description box for a super great deal that Glasses USA has right now. You know what? I won't talk any longer. Let's just get into the makeup tutorial. So one of the two main problems about applying the makeup when you're wearing glasses is that really annoying mark that some glasses can do on the nose. For that, I recommend you to use an eyeshadow primer. So I'm gonna use this Marc Jacobs. This is the undercover eye primer. I take a little bit of product, so don't get too excited. If you apply too much primer in here, then it's gonna be a problem. That's going to prevent your foundation from melting, from slippering, because this is basically what's happening right here. The foundation just gets melted in between the skin and that plastic. Try this trick and really you're gonna thank me for this. I'm gonna do my base just like I normally do. Hollywood Flawless Filter is a product that I like to use 
on the highest parts of my face, like on the cheekbone, sides of the forehead. This is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Foundation with SPF 30. Then I take a damp beauty sponge. Guys, if you're looking for something that has coverage but it's super lightweight on the skin, totally recommend you to get this one. I apply everywhere but the nose. I'll show you in a second why. Now with just what's left on the beauty blender, you're going to apply the foundation around the nose because quite frankly, that's where you need it the most. And then spread whatever is around for the bridge. The less product you have right here, the less it's going to melt. So the primer and this trick is the best thing you could do for those marks to not happen. I'll be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium. It's been a long time since I haven't used it, so I thought I miss it. If you're using custard from NARS like I do and you're looking for your color from the Shape Tape, go for light medium. I spread it with the Beauty Blender. Although I love brushes, I love the flexibility that brushes give me. Applying your base with a Beauty Blender or just any beauty sponge makes it so much faster. What's left on my sponge, I will apply it on the bra bone and then spread it on the mobile lid like this. I don't want to have a lot of product on my mobile lid. I'll be using this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. This is a pressed powder. I feel like it brightens. Maybe because of the color, maybe because of the for the formula. I don't know what it is about this. It does brighten the under eye area. And for sure, it blurs the pores. Like, can you can you just come closer, please? So I'll show you. This is with powder, this is without the powder. This guy really blurs the pores. Now you do want to apply the smallest amount of powder on your nose as well. This is probably my favorite cream bronzer, Chanel. I'll take a Hakuhodo J5511 brush and bronze the skin. Now you know that normally you're not supposed to apply cream product after you apply powder, but we did not powder. I mean, I did not powder right here. I heard that Chanel has a new version of this product and that it's not as good. I'm going to order it and see it for myself. Eyebrows are crucial. When you wear the glasses, they're going to be a focus on your face. At least use a clear brow gel just to tame them. I'm going to use the Glossy Brow Flick. It's really important when you're doing your eyebrows or when you're doing your makeup in general, you must have a magnifying mirror if if you wear glasses or if you're like me. And I don't see from close, but I also don't see from far. So that's a nightmare. I like a fluffy brow like this. Glossier Boy Brow. This is the gel that's gonna keep them in place. Listen guys, every time you get to see a makeup for glasses, I feel like they're all kind of neutral and like classy. I'm the first one that would go after a very natural look. However, I feel like I want to play with colors and I, I, I got inspired by this beautiful backdrop and then my nails. I was thinking about using the Natasha Denona palette because I haven't used this in a very long time. The Tropic palette. Do you guys remember this? And the looks that I created with it? Or better say, the look. I don't know why I didn't dig as much into this palette, so let's just do it. I don't do colors, but apparently when I do, I just use every single one from a palette. <laughs> you know what Katie Jane he use would be so proud of me. I just sent her a message. I'm like, I think I might have seen this in one of your looks, <laughs> which might actually be very true. No joke. I just took every single one of these colors except for this Sigma E60 brush. Just everywhere.
The next color I'll be taking is the exotic, which is the green, with this pencil brush. Smith 253 brush, and now I'm grabbing the, the blue and applying it at the outer corner, but then spreading it everywhere. Also on the lower lash line, I go little by little. Then I take again that mint frost with a flat brush. This is from Sephora in collaboration with Sanana. And I apply it on top of the green on the lower lash line. Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil, Absolute Emerald. I wasn't sure I want to use a pencil or a liner. I was thinking if I do a black liner, it would be just expected. But this... This is so much fun. The Makeup Forever pencils are just so versatile. Same pencil on the waterline and right here in the inner corner. Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. And then Extended Play Giga Black Lash from MAC. On the lower lashes. Listen, since we're here, I'm going to take this color. This is called Limoncello. I'm going to go with this lipstick from Max Factor, Nude Rose. Then I use this tiny brush, again Sephora brush, to make the lipstick thinner on the edges. That's going to give it a much softer look. Now for the blush, I was like, should we go for ginger or should we go for chai? Both from Laura Mercier. We're going to go for ginger. Ginger it is. Sigma F40 brush. Becca Ignite. This is a new product. I've been loving and using a lot on my stories. This looks like this. A super strong highlighter. But in the same time, if you apply it just a tiny little bit, this is not a good place for swatches. We just have to accept the fact that I'm not good at this swatching thing. I took this highlighter on the back of my beauty blender where it was nice and clean and now I just bounce it on my cheekbones. So it gives that dewy effect. If you've applied a little bit too much powder this sort of balances the look. Now let's put some glasses on. I like these. Wow. The sexiest glasses in the world, like there is no such thing. If I tilt the head back, you're going to see the lights that I have in front of me in the glasses. Therefore, I'm going to leave it a little bit more like this. I want to know who said people who wear glasses cannot do a crazy colorful look. That's what I want to know. I mean, eyebrows, check. We did the trick for the nose, check. We framed the eyes, check. The most important thing when you do a makeup for glasses, as you can see, tames the makeup. Look, without, with, all of a sudden just becomes a little bit more sophisticated.
All right, guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you appreciate the colorful look more than, you know, just a classic neutral kind of a makeup look for glasses. Please make sure you check out the link in my description box where you will find a really great offer for glassesusa.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you glassesusa.com for partnering with me in this video. See you in my next one. Bye. And I don't mind the fact that it doesn't say like tiny little Prada right here or Gucci or Dior. I like those brands on my makeup. I will do just... I always say I don't like to use the dropper because I'm afraid I'm gonna stain my clothes. I hate it when I'm right. Okay, we're gonna move on. Just get me closer, nobody can see.